What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Sanborn and today we're going to learn how to play Exile by Taylor Swift featuring Bon Iver, that's how I like to say it, on the good old uke. As with every ukulele tutorial that I upload here on YouTube, I will include a skip to section right here so you can skip to the chords or the strumming if you don't want to sit through an entire 10 minute video. I totally get you, but if you do, I love you so much. Uh, but again, skip to section will be your best friend. You can go to the timestamps for every section of the video if you would like. Also, uh, what I do want to note is I will be doing a full ukulele play along for this song. That's me singing and strumming the entire song with the chords and lyrics on screen. So if that's something that interests you, if you like more covers, uh, then definitely go check that video out. That will be out after this video. So if you're watching in the future, make sure to check the top of the comments. I'll leave a link for that. I'll say click here for the ukulele play along or in the description of, the, of this video. Make sure to open the tab and go check out all the links and all that good stuff down below. But with that being said, let's go ahead and see what chords we need for this song. All right, so this song is pretty easy in that it only has four chords and those chords are C, D, E minor, and last but not least, G. So if you're like, Ricky, I know all those chords, let's move on to the strumming, come on, let's go. Again, skip to section right here, skip to whatever section of the video that you want. But if you're like, Ricky, I literally just started playing a week ago, yesterday, an hour ago, please help me, I don't know these chords. Don't worry, this is why this video exists. We're gonna go step by step on where we're gonna put our fingers on the uke for each chord, and then we'll talk about strumming. So if you wanna learn how to play each chord, then just keep on watching. But before we talk about chords, let's quickly talk about how we number the strings and the frets. So let's pick up our uke, and the top string is gonna be the fourth string, the next one down is gonna be the third, the next one down is gonna be the second, and the last one at the bottom, that's gonna be the first string. And then let's also quickly take a look at our fretboard. So I'm gonna do that beauty guru, put your hand behind the product so it focuses. There we go. So this is gonna be the first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, and then so on. So again, first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, and then so on. So make sure to get super familiar with the numbering of the strings and the frets, and once you get that down, let's go ahead and talk about these chords coming up next. All right, so let's talk about the chords for this song. As always, I will include a visual representation right here where you need to put your fingers on the uke for each chord. I feel like it just helps when you can visually see and then have me talk you through it. So with that being said, the first chord that we need is the C chord. And how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna place your ring finger on the first string, third fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the D chord and how I always play this one is I'm gonna take my pointer finger and I'm gonna go over the top two strings which is the fourth and third string on the second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place it on the second string, second fret. So it's gonna be the fourth, third, and second string on the second fret. All those strings are gonna be occupied by your fingers and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the E minor chord and how I always say it looks like a staircase going down. So how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the first string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place it on the second string, third fret. And then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna place it on the third string, fourth fret. And it should sound like this. And the last chord that we need for this song is the G chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the third string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place it on the first string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're gonna place it on the second string, third fret. And it should sound like this. So those are all the chords that you need for this song. As always, if we do need a little bit extra time, make sure to press the pause button right now and just get really familiar with the finger positioning for each chord and also making sure that they sound crisp and clear. And once you have that down, press play. And now let's talk about how we're gonna play this song with the strumming coming up next. 
All right, so we just talked about chords. Now let's talk about how we're gonna play this song with the strumming. So there's actually two different strumming patterns in this song, which we will talk through right now. So the first one is going to be down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So let's do that one more time. I have the G chord down in three, two, one, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So that strumming pattern is gonna be played throughout the song. So the only difference is gonna be in the chorus and it, when it goes, I think I've seen this film before and I didn't like the ending. So that part is going to be, so we're gonna start off with the C chord and it's gonna be down, down, up, up, down, up. So let's do that one more time. In three, two, one, down, down, up, up, down. So if you put that together, it'd be like, I think I've seen this film before. So again, it's just going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. And also if you're like, Ricky, I don't even want to think about strumming. I just started like 30 minutes ago. Um, you can always just do down strum. So it could be like, I think I've seen this film before. And then just literally do down strums whenever you see a chord change. And as always, I will include the full lyrics and chords in the description. So it has literally the chord right above the word that you need to change. So it's super easy for you. So you can copy and paste it. That is my gift to you. If you would like that, everything will be in the description below. So again, let's talk about the two ways that we're going to strum this song. So in the beginning, it's just going to be down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And that's going to be played throughout. But the only time it's going to change is in the chorus again, which is like, I think I've seen, you know, you don't want to hear me sing right now. But then the chorus, it's just going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. And you're going to play that one time for every chord. So whenever you see a chord change, you just start again with that strumming pattern. So those are the two different ways, I guess three, because you can always do down strum. So those are the three different ways that you can play this song. So I'm going to move over this way. We got it. <laughs> so yeah, congratulations. You now know how to play Exile by Taylor Swift featuring Bon Iver. I always love saying it this way. I don't even really know how you say it. Bon Some people probably say Bon Iver, but I think it just sounds awesome when you say Bon Iver. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Congratulations, you now know how to play that song. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching this and leaving a comment below letting me know how do you like the new Taylor Swift album? Are you a fan? Are you not so a fan? Are you one of those uh, Taylor Swift fans that like wanted more of a poppy album like her previous one? Or are you really into this sort of like in the feels emo uh, vibe that she's giving which I honestly I kind of like because I like the more of the the groovy vibey saddy song so let me know in the comments what you think about her new album also thank you so much to Ola Ukulele for making such amazing ukes this is actually a concert sides uke I can give you a little bit of close-up on the sound hole so you have a little bit of a design there and it's such a cool color and the price is even cooler because I think this one was either 70 or $75 for a concert uke. And this is a really high quality uke. I tr honestly, I was so surprised when I got this uke. I did a video reviewing Amazon ukuleles and this was one of them. So I was very, very, very surprised in a great way uh, when I saw the price, but also when I played it and these are the strings that it came with. So if you are in the market for a new uke, especially a concert size uke, this one I highly recommend. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you want to be Uke twins with me, uh, we can play along together and be Uke twins. And, you know, read each other's minds. That's what twins do, right? I think. I don't know. But let me know if you do get this Uke. I uh, would love to, you know, know somebody else that has this Uke and we can play. And every time I play it, I'll be, I'll, I'll think of you. You know what I mean? We can think of each other when we play this. Uh, but anyways, uh, I need to go to bed. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, if you do want to follow me on Instagram, it's just at Ricky Sombron. We've hitched, we've hitched, we've reached 56,000 Instagram family members and I would love for you to join. We did not hitch 56,000 people together. We reached 56,000 followers. Um, 
I'm definitely need to go to bed. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really do hang out, love hanging out with you for these 10, 15 minutes. I really can't speak. Uh, just learning new music, hanging out, and just vibing on the new Taylor Swift album. Again, let me know what you think about your new album in the comments below. And leave your recommendations either in a DM on Instagram or in the comment section below. So I'll see them. I love responding to every single one. Again, if you want to get this uke, link in the description. All the good stuff are in, is in the description. I have a uh, second channel, hint, hint. Just go subscribe to that, subscribe to that if you want. Uh, those are gonna be like behind the scenes, vlogs, all that good stuff, so. Thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next one, bye.